The French company Parrot has been producing drones for a while now. It showcased its first AR drone in 2010 at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. It has since introduced other models such as the B-Hop and Disco. But they are mostly targeted at casual users and designed for acrobatics or racing. Then came the Anafi, Parrot's first serious entry in the drone photography space, currently dominated by Chinese maker DJI. It is a compact drone capable of shooting 4K video and competes directly against the DJI Mavic Air. Is it any good? Let's find out. Let's start by looking at the design. The first thing you will notice is how compact and lightweight the Anafi is. While it is a little longish when folded, we like that it is pretty compact and stores nicely in the bundled carrying case. This makes it ideal for slipping it into a bag for traveling. On the other hand, the remote control is a tad too bulky and the joysticks are non-removable. It is rated to accommodate smartphones with screen sizes of up to 6 inches, so do ensure your phone can fit into the controller slot. At just 320 grams, the Anafi can feel a little bit flimsy, but don't let its lightweight body fool ya. The carbon fiber material is pretty tough and can take quite a bit of abuse. As a matter of fact, we accidentally crashed it into a tree during our first flight with a drone, but it came away unharmed. In the event that the propellers are damaged, it is useful to note that screws are required to swap them out. Setting up the drone for flight is a relatively painless process. You can choose to take off from the ground or do a hand launch, which is quite awesome, but it does take some time to get the hang of it. If you've flown other drones before, you will find that the Anafi operates quieter than others in its class. It has a quick acceleration and can hit speeds of up to 55 kilometers per hour. It also has an impressive flight time of 25 minutes, which is great for a drone this size. And the fact that both the battery and the remote can be charged via USB-C means you can juice up easily using a power bank. One thing that surprised us was how Anafi is able to handle windy conditions reasonably well, despite its light body. Now, having said that, we find that it doesn't seem to be able to stay in the same spot, even if there is no wind. It just sways and moves slightly while hovering. Our biggest gripe with the Anafi is the lack of an obstacle avoidance system. Unlike the Mavic Air, which has onboard sensors to detect things in its way and stop itself from crashing into them, the Anafi doesn't. This will make it harder to maneuver the drone in places such as forested areas where there will be obstacles and you will have to be on the lookout all the time in order to avoid major crashes. During our tests, the Wi-Fi connection tends to be spotty when flying the drone above 50 meters in urban areas where there is interference. Even in the all-channel mode, the connection occasionally drops. It should be noted as well that the Anafi flight is capped at a height of 150 meters and a maximum distance of 2 kilometers. On paper, the Anafi has pretty decent onboard camera. It is one of the few drones capable of shooting 4K HDR footage. It can also zoom 1.4 times in 4K and up to 2.8 times in 1080p without loss in quality. It actually used a 4K 100 megabits per second bitrate footage turned out great, capturing cinematic landscape shots with plenty of details. All in all, it produces good image quality in daylight conditions. As expected, low light shots tend to have more noise in the shadows, and we would not recommend flying the Anafi at night as it doesn't have onboard navigation lights, which makes it harder to spot when the video feed is interrupted mid-flight. The HDR mode was able to capture more details, but the footage turned out unnaturally saturated with too much noise at times. One of the most unique features about the Anafi is the 180 degree tilt on the camera gimbal. While most drones are designed to shoot downwards, having the ability to shoot directly upwards is rare and can produce some unique perspectives. Better still, Parrot has somehow managed to keep the rotors out of the shot. The Anafi comes with the usual suite of camera effects such as boomerang, orbit, and parabola. The most interesting shot is the dolly effect, which has the subject remain the same size while the background moves closer or further away. Additional flight modes such as follow me and flight plan are available separately as in-app purchases, which is a bummer given such features are usually bundled with most drones. So here's the verdict. There is a lot to like about the Parrot Anafi. It's really handy to travel with and has a decent camera and handles well with good flight time.
It is a letdown by the lack of obstacle avoidance sensors and inconsistent HDR shots, which can hopefully be fixed with a firmware update, but we feel it is the best drone from Parrot so far. It is not quite there yet with the DJI, but it is certainly getting close. The Parrot Anafi retails at just under $1,200. Sing dollars.